Welcome to Community Governance. The Algorand Network is continuing its path to full decentralization with the introduction of Community Governance. Decentralization is a critical feature of public blockchains. By being fully decentralized, a public blockchain ensures that the network is global, secure, has a high level of trust, is fair and equitable, and is built for all. From October 1st, every ELGO holder can become a governor and vote on the future of Algorand. Governors will be able to claim governance rewards for voting. Once you've placed ELGO in your wallet, there are three simple steps for a new governor beginning October 1st. One, commit your ELGO for the 90-day voting period. Two, vote on all measures. Three, claim your governance rewards at the end of each voting period. From October 1st, the future of Algorand is in your hands. Hello, Governor. <laughs> it's RPU here, and I'm back again with another video. Guys, shout out to all my Algorand governors out there. A wise man once said, with great power comes great responsibility and we are responsible for the future of Algorand. Now the Algorand Foundation has opened up the first voting session of this governance period. It involves two measures, including DeFi participants and governance and XGovs, promoting and upvoting measures. It's time to take a vote so we can earn our governance rewards. Let's get it. So here we are, the Algorand governance platform. You have 12 days to place your vote with over 3 billion Algorand committed to governance voting, over 70 million in Algorand rewards, and over 55,000 holders who have signed up to become governors during period three. Period three, voting session one. It's open to vote. There are two measures that need to be voted on, DeFi participation and XGovs. Participate in Algorand governance. Algorand Governance puts you in charge of the future of Algo. Vote on changes to the protocol directly from your Algorand account. Let's do it. So they want me to connect to my Para-Algo wallet. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to pick up my phone real quick. Scan the QR code. Algorand governance platform wants to connect to your wallet. Yep. You are connected to the Algorand governance platform. Please return to the Algorand governance platform to continue and finish your operation. Okay. Oh, so there you go. You can see my wallet there. Click use. Status. 42 algo committed. <laughs> That's all I had at the time, man. I only had $50 to spend on Algorand at the time, but... I'm eligible to vote and I have one voting session to complete. So let's do it. Period three, voting session one, DeFi participation in XGovs announced March 30th, open to vote starting June 1st. Cool down will start June 15th. Cool down will end June 17th. You have until the 15th of June to vote if you want your rewards. Also, as you can see, I had committed 42 Algorand to governance voting whatever amount of algorand that you committed when you signed up to become a governor you have to keep that amount in your wallet at all times throughout the governance period and on top of that you need to have some extra algo to cover gas fees so keep that in mind so over 532 million algorand has been staked and voted so far and over 20,000 governors have already voted Overview. Now, in this voting session, governors will be asked to grant governing power and rewards to DeFi participants on Algorand. They are also asked to approve the foundation plan for a mechanism to bring community proposals to governance votes via the expert governor XGov tier. There are two measures. Measure one, including DeFi participants in governance. You can get more details about this measure available off of the foundation's website. 
The Algorand Foundation believes that active participation in decentralized finance, DeFi, is fundamental to the health of the Algorand ecosystem and that our governance platform must do a better job of recognizing and rewarding the outsized contribution of DeFi participants, large and small, across a range of project types. We therefore propose to include qualified DeFi projects in Algorand governance allowing them to vote and receive governance rewards. Those projects will be responsible for voting in Algorand governance sessions and distributing governance rewards to their users through a transparent process. At this moment, the DeFi participants are underrepresented in governance compared to their role for the Algorand ecosystem. In order to address this and to further advance decentralization, we propose as a temporary measure until the end of 2022, a doubling of the voting power of DeFi participants as compared to ALGO holders. Wow. Governors should decide between the following two options. Option A, granting governor status and voting power to qualify DeFi projects as described below while maintaining the same governance rewards program to ALGO holders that commit for the governance period. Qualified DeFi projects will have twice the voting power until the end of 2022, then revert back to normal power. Option B, keeping the status quo, awarding governor status only to ALGO holders that commit for the governance period and to no other group. The foundation supports the more inclusive option. Option A. We remind the community that the foundation does not vote in governance. Now, DeFi projects will qualify for participation in Algorand governance by first registering with the Algorand Foundation and then maintaining daily total value locked on Algorand of at least 1 million algo equivalent, on average, over any two week window during the governance period. Qualified projects will earn the right to vote on behalf of their users in the voting session in the governance period. The voting power of a qualified project will be set according to the daily average total value locked on Algorand of that project over the period from the first day of the sign up window until the day before the voting session ends. Until the end of 2022, their voting power will be twice that daily average. Then starting 2023, it will revert to being once the daily average. Total value lock computations will be based on a transparent policy based at minimizing distortions and ensuring fairness regarding, in particular, eligible assets. Qualified projects that voted in all the voting sessions in the governance period will get governance rewards to distribute among their users. The amount of rewards distributed to each project will be its pro rate of share of the governance rewards using exactly the same formula as for algo holders. The stake associated with each project will be the daily total value locked to that project on Algorand over the entire governance period. Projects that fail to vote in a voting session will receive no governance rewards for that governance period. Users of the platform in question will have no recourse to the foundation for rewards in that case. Whew, that was a lot. So, they want to give governance power to DeFi projects so people who participate on their platforms will have a governance vote. They want to give these DeFi projects double the voting power. (laughs) So, you can give governor status and twice the voting power to these DeFi projects Or we can keep the status quo and only keep that power with the people who made an effort to sign up to be an Algorand governor. And that's what I'm voting for. Oh, we have the results are in. Damn. (laughs) 78 to 21 voted for keeping the status quo. Wow. This is cool. Being able to see immediate results on the blockchain, that's amazing. This is the future. This is what we need in politics right now. This is what we need 
in real life, like when it comes to our voting system, to be able to see immediate results on the blockchain would ensure that whatever happened in 2020 would never happen again. You know? Seeing the voting system just freeze up at 3 o'clock in the morning and it was just like frozen for like two days. That wouldn't... With, with Algorand, we would have immediate results of, you know, the, the voting. We would have immediate results. We'd be able to see who voted for who on the blockchain. You know? So, I think this is the future. Measure two. XGovs. Proposing and upvoting measures. You can see the full outline of this proposal on the foundation's website, but this is the short version. We believe that a governance structure that allows the algorithm community to impact the most important decisions is fundamental to the long-term stability and continued growth of the algorithm ecosystem. In the first round of voting earlier this year, a large majority of our governors voted in favor of the creation of a new tier of expert governors, XGovs. Here we share a proposal to translate the principles behind the XGov tier into operative rules. Governors should decide between the following two options. Option A. Approve the mechanism as described below, establishing a process for bringing community measures to governance votes. The community at large can propose measures. The expert governors, exgovs, vote to promote them to governance ballots subject to final editing. What's option B? Keeping for now the status quo, the foundation is tasked with proposing a different mechanism for bringing community proposals to governance votes. The foundation supports the more inclusive option, option A. We remind the community that the foundation does not vote in governance. Universal access to proposing measures. Anyone in the community can make proposals. That's cool. The foundation will set up an app for community measure proposals so that every algo holder can create a proposal that will be listed there. That's what's up. So anybody can bring a proposal to the floor. Building momentum. Proposal authors can publicize their proposal and its rationale on governance form and or social media. The foundation will implement a mechanism that allows Algorand community members to use their wallet to support proposals that they like. The purpose of this mechanism is to highlight the proposals of larger interests, ordering them for XGov's consideration. So maybe they'll have a way for you to vote, like whether you like this proposal or you dislike it. And the ones that get the most likes will get the ex govs attention, you know, and then they can vote on it and decide whether they want to bring it to the floor for a full vote, you know. So who are the ex govs The ex govs will earn by commitment the right to promote community proposals to the general governance vote. They will receive XGov tokens that they can use to upvote proposals and will exercise their voting power via their respective DAOs. For example, one DAO might let individual XGovs upvote proposals, while another might call for a DAO internal vote and then use all the XGov tokens of all its members to support just one proposal. The final stage, measure for the general vote. The few proposals that receive the highest support from the XGovs will be promoted to the ballot in the next governance voting session. Before being placed on the ballot, the winning proposals will undergo an editing process by the foundation to ensure accurate language and compatibility with the Algorand Foundation bylaws and mission statement. To ensure a smooth transition from the existing framework to the XGov framework, during the first few periods after the implementation of the XGov system, the community measures proposed and approved through the above process will coexist alongside with the measures proposed and put forth to vote directly by the foundation. So, 
You can vote to approve the mechanism for community proposals, or you can vote to keep the status quo for now, where only the foundation proposes measures. This is my first time hearing about these ex-govs. It sounds like they're trying to create like a congressional process to, um, you know, allow people to bring up votes. You know, it's like creating, <laughs> you know, we're, we're creating our own government on the Algorand blockchain, basically. <laughs> this is crazy. And um, they say that these ex-govs earn the right to be ex-govs, right? I'm just wondering, like, can anybody earn that right? Do they have that position, like, forever? Or can anybody become an ex-gov? That's what I want to know. Because, like, you know, politicians in real life have lifetime positions, it seems like. You know, some of these politicians have been in office over 34 years. And will these ex-gov people, will they have... Will they be able to be rotated in and out of position so other people can have a chance to become ex govs That's what I want to know. If you know, let me know in the comments. But it says, cast your vote. Approve the mechanism for community proposals or keep for now the status quo. Only the foundation proposes measures. Um, I'm not too sure about these ex govs so I'm just going to go with keeping for now the status quo. Because I need more information on these XGovs. Results. Damn. <laughs> 94.6. <laughs> 94% of people have voted to approve the mechanism for now. Or the mechanism with the XGovs. 94.6. The majority have spoken. It's crazy. Wow. And I love how you get the immediate results on the blockchain. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is the future. Our entire system is going to change. <laughs> it's on the verge of changing right now. You know, why but politicians could be obsolete <laughs> in the future. Think about it. Like. Why would you need a politician when you can create your own proposal? Anybody can create their own proposal on the blockchain, have it sent up to the Senate, which is basically these ex-govs, right? Like the Algorand community is the House or whatever. These ex-govs are the Senate. Anybody can propose a bill. It gets sent up to the Senate. The governors vote on it. And then it gets sent back down for the entire community to vote on it. You know, it, it would if we had a president, it would be sent to the president, you know, to be signed on after the ex goes, right? But since we are a decentralized community, everybody has a chance to vote on it. <laughs> you know? Ultimately, it's the community who has all the power. So, I think that this is awesome. I think that this is the future. And so I voted on both measures. Now I have to submit my votes. You see right here at the bottom? We're going to submit our votes. It says, please review and sign the transaction using the Para-Algo wallet. The network fee is 0 .001 Algo. So cheap. So, so cheap. It says, are you sure... Once confirmed, the connected application can send those transactions out at their description. Please make sure you review the transaction as carefully as possible as this is irreversible. Click accept. to have my ledger nano <laughs> damn it one second i have to get up and get my uh ledger nano now i thought i could just do it directly from 
my pair of Algo wallet, but I have to sign off on it ultimately using my Ledger Nano. And that's good, you know? That way nobody can steal my digital assets. <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be, <laughs> you know? Always make sure you back up your private keys. Know what I'm talking about? Oh, shit. I put in the wrong pin. All right, I'm in. Connect to the Algorand wallet. Application is ready. Let's try this again. Algorand governance platform transaction request 0 0.001 algo network fee confirm accept You know what? I might just refresh this if it doesn't go through. I might just refresh the page and vote all over so so it could um refresh and like connect directly to it if it doesn't work. Taking too long. Let's go ahead and refresh this. Okay, I'm still logged in as you can see. I already voted. Now submit the votes one more time. Click confirm, accept. There we go. Now it's popping up on my ledger. There we go. Review transaction, 0 0.001 algo, click sign. Your transaction is being processed. Your tr The transaction has been signed and sent to the Algorand governance platform. Please visit Algorand governance platform for the remaining process. Woohoo, I voted. You see it says success right there? I voted. That's awesome, man. And I just think it's so awesome how you can see the immediate results on the blockchain. I think that's awesome because this is the future, you know, this is the future of voting. This is the future of governance. Our entire political system may be obsolete in the future, you know. Especially, at least, especially the legislative branch, because anybody in the future on the blockchain, anybody will be able to propose, make a proposal on the blockchain and have it voted on if people like it enough. And so, wow, that this is cool, you know, and you get to earn Algorand rewards just for voting. So, yeah. Get your vote on. Make your voice be heard. Shout out to all the Algorand holders out there. You have 12 days to place your vote. This is RPU, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.